Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we will be looking at the Karasan Attunement Quest. I will take you through the steps necessary to complete the quest chain so you can enter this awesome raid. It's one of my favorite raids of all time. So just sit back, relax, and let's jump right into it. First up, if you don't have any knowledge of whatsoever about Karasan, where it is, and all that jazz, you can always go to this guy in Shepherd City. This quest is not particularly needed for you to start the quest chain, but it will take you to Karasan. And if you don't have a mage buddy who can portal you, just go ahead and fly to the Dark Portal and run through Blasted Lands, straight up into Swamp of Sorrows, and onto Deadwind Pass. Once you are at Karasan, you will be greeted by an Archmage, which will hand you two quests. Both quests are fairly easy and are both done right outside the instance. First up, you have to go do some water readings. Both of them are underground, and the first reading is to your right. Underground, you will find some water and some ghost mobs. Just uh, kill all the ghost mobs you can if you're there. You will need the 10 ghostly essence for one of the quests. Go do the reading in the water and go back outside. And just jump down into the next cellar. It is right across the road and you'll do the water reading at the pond and you'll just kill all the ghost mobs you see, loot their essences. So once you've completed both quests, return to the Archmage outside of Karasan. Turn the quests in and he will give you a new quest to go to Dalaran. And no, I'm not talking about this Dalaran or that Dalaran. I'm talking about the old Dalaran, here. It's easy to get to if you're Horde, but it shouldn't be a problem if you're Alliance either. Once you meet the Archmage, turn in the quest. He will give you a letter, which you'll have to return to Catgut in Shepherd City. Return to Catgut, turn in the quest, and now the real fun begins. Now you have to gather the key fragments for the actual key. The first key fragment is in Shadow Labs. If you don't have the key to enter Shadow Lab, just go to Sethic Halls, kill the last boss and loot the chest behind him, and you'll get the key. Again, it's not needed. Maybe if you have a friend or guildmate with the key, you can just enter Shadow Labs, no problem, but you might as well get it. So once you kill the last boss in Shadow Labs, right behind him there is a crystal-like artifact, a container of sorts. Click on that, and a Fragment Guardian will spawn. You only need to click once for your whole group to actually loot the quest item. So don't go spamming it, don't worry, you'll all get it. So once you kill the Fragment Guardian, loot the quest item, and return to Catgut in Shattered City. Turn in the quest, and Catgut will give you a new quest to get the two last fragments, the second and third key fragment. Both of these are found inside instances in Outland as well, Steam Vaults and Architrass. Both are fairly easy to get to, but keep in mind that you will need a flying mount or some buddies who can summon you to Architrass. Normally you would have to do Botanica and Mechano in order to get the key to get into Architrass, but if you have a buddy with the key, it's no problem, he can let you in. Anyways, same procedure, one of you click the arcane container and a key guardian will spawn. Loot the fragment and go to the next instance. The key fragment in Architrass is just around the corner of the first bus, again same procedure. One of you should click the arcane container, kill the guardian, loot the fragment, and you guessed right, return to Catgut in Shattered City. Alright, now you've handed in all the key fragments. Now it's time to go to the Caverns of Time to get Medivh's Touch, the Master's Touch. Once you are at the Caverns of Time, just make sure to do the quest line you are greeted with. You will get a lot of reputation with the Caverns of Time after doing these quests, which is nice. It can be somewhat tedious, but just get it over with. It's, it's fairly easy. The first dungeon you will be doing is Old Hillspread Foothills. This is not directly a part of the quest chain, but you will need it for the Black Morass event. Just hop on in and do the dungeon. I like most Karens of Time dungeons because they have a lot of lore and awesome stuff hidden in the dungeons. After you've completed the dungeon and all the objectives, just turn in the quests and head on over to Black Morass. Once you are inside Black Morass, make sure to pick up the quest, add the beacon, you can use this to make boss fights easier during the instance. Power through the instance, complete the quest, and talk to Medivh. Now you've completed the Master's Touch quest, it's time to return to Khadgar in Shepherd City and get the Master's Key. Hand in the quest, and congrats, you got the Master's Key. Now you just need to go back to where it all began, outside Karazhan, talk to the Archmage, and all your efforts have now paid off. You are now attuned to one of the most awesome raids in World of Warcraft. So have fun guys, I hope you found this guide helpful. I'll see you guys really soon. Hope you